All right, so there are two very different characters with Finally, two something. very different ideas of what has been going on. Don't think I'm st have a reliable narrator anywhere in this. Ugh. It's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? Costs one cell. Wow, I like it. I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. Oh, close behind me. Wonderful, that's always a positive sign. What are we in a ventilation shed? No, that seems to be a door of some kind. Maybe. Yeah, it's another door. This one, this, at least this one isn't frozen over. Well, this looks a lot more like a palace. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. See, this looks palatial. But what are the chairs doing here? Like, sitting here while waiting for people to arrive? He was right. It all looks completely untouched. So, Mr. Computer, what do you think of all of this? The long hallway of chairs. Finally, mankind will be able to sit down forever everywhere. It's pretty and all, but... You were right about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Foster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Gramps had. Would that be the Soul Sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. How oh, did I feel optimistic of you? Shouting. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. Again, with all the seating arrangements. Apparently, the palace was designed with the idea in mind that resting upon your buttocks was the greatest act humanity could do. I guess these must... maybe they're like elevators? Uh, no. Maybe. I don't know. Hello? Oh, it's a mirror. I recognize these. They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Giant chandelier? Send. Ah, let's not jump to vaulting over the uh, stuff until we have to sure there's no way. Well, okay then. Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. I feel I'm being fully inducted into a new religion. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in.
down we go. And some of us don't why there will be, be all these seating spaces, because getting anywhere in this place takes a fucking ever. No wonder you'd need a break a little so often. That door is different. I bet that's an activation mechanism for the door. Okay then. This is meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life, surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. You resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Graham spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here. And this feels very real to me. Well, the place does exist. I don't think we can doubt that. Much beyond that? Who knows? Now, these I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Okay. Just out of curiosity. What's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? Good question. It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside <laughs> and feel wealthy? <laughs> not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Then the leap. No, it's wait too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. Well, that sounds gruesome. Very cruel. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. But you do hope that it will not go like that. Well, open sesame. Now, let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Gramps did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this? I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern. And the silver unfolds, pierces the skin and slithers inside. In about half an hour it consumes everything. And all that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube. He called it the translation. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. <laughs> oh, we said it a thousand times, never realizing. 
I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right? That Foster can come back? That's insane! It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? That's how I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? Oh, I guess it just needed a moment. But, like, that grandfather guy sounds absolutely fucking despicable. Do you see that? The dim glow. The activation of the door must have triggered a chemiluminescent. Not uncommon for evacuation purposes. Okay, right or left? Better choose carefully because we committed to going that direction for a fucking century and a half by the looks of it. Start marching this away. This place is huge. This hallway alone could easily house all the resources that ever were. You finding anything here without coordinates would be a miracle. I compared the quarters you're in now with the overall structure of the planet. The palace is everywhere, all the way to the core. Huge sectors separated by the outside structures you were in. Yep. And so much of it is hallways and chairs. Like, it looks beautiful, but imagine actually living here? I haven't seen as much as a kitchen or a bathroom. It's grand and big, but I have a hard time finding any purpose to it. Man, people could live in here for decades and never meet each other. somewhere, right? I'm not just walking in circles. Am I walking in circles? I mean, I would even fucking know at this point. I'm just walking in very big circles now. Alright, let's try to investigate that area with the poles on the floor. Might lead to something. Getting some local increases in energy emission. Know what it is? Can't tell. It's not radiation. 
One of them is close to your location. I'll pin it to your HUD. We've got to give it to him, the old man. This place is spectacular. Nothing but an infinite palace would suffice for you resourcefuls. I wish you'd stop calling me resourceful. It's what you are. I had the training, but I never bought into Gramps' vision. I never wanted any of this. Yet here you are. I was six the first time I ran away. I hiked for weeks to see what was beyond the gardens. When I finally reached the wall, Gramps was there waiting for me. There's nothing out there but people living like animals, fighting to please their immediate needs and desires. They have no ambition, no perspective. Why fight to get the best out of the little time you have on Earth when you could be fighting to have much more? He went on about the wonders of the palace, but he had already lost me. All I could hear was the blood rushing in my veins. I wanted that. To fight for the here and now. I decided that I would do whatever it took to make that happen. So I went back with him to follow the training, figuring I'd need it to get away. And I was good. He called me his prize. Before the turn, I ran, just shy of 15. I've been out for seven years now. Not really what you'd call a running away from home excursion. Not really, no. London, you've got to believe me. Foster was a bloody mess and wouldn't have made it out alive. None of us would if I tried to escape with him like that. He gave you the lighter, so he must have wanted me to take you here. But he would never buy into your grandfather's delusions. It's so far-fetched it almost makes me sick. Is this a fucking cafeteria or something? Well, we're closing in on whatever it is, so... Oh. Is that a throne? Look. Apparently they really do value the art of sitting down. It's even a fucking lock release mechanism. This must be it. Somehow broke the thingamajig. That wasn't very nice. Foster? 
are you doing this? Ben, I thought I lost you. Massive power surges are blazing through the outside structures. And the gravity clouding nearly tore me apart. She's waking up. More like malfunctioning. If those reaction veins cross... Wait, what's that? Something's wrong with your HUD. I think it's the cube telling me where to go. It happened when I put it on my back. Unlikely. The suit is hard-coded and all blocks capped to the minimum. No room for adding to or altering the code. And yet here we are. Well, so far I'm still not sure what's going on and how it all fits together. But stuff seems to be happening. So, yeah, let's call that the introduction for now. This has been Eric Cobra, this has been Let's Play Echo Blind. See you all around.